Hey guys, this is, uh, yeah, we're back with Mega Man X, let's challenge Mega Man X2, we're doing the third Sigma stage. Um, yeah, so, most of you might, if you've played X6, you'll recognize this is the, uh, theme of Gates Lab. If you haven't played X6, don't! In my opinion, it's probably one of the most poorly made of the 2D, 2D Mega Man X games. And my screen just fell asleep. That's beautiful. I swear, my computer hates me. But anyway, the stage is... The stage is gimmick? Moving platforms. We all love moving platform puzzles. Oh, and they added spikes this time. That makes things, um... Dandy? <laughs> I guess? Yeah, it's all about just... short hopping it. To get where you need to go. Short hop, short hop, short hop. Short hop. Short hop, short hop. Short hop, yeah, you you get the picture. Now, once once you get to a certain point, you can you really don't need the platform anymore, to be honest. Actually, I think the platform is how you get up to the uh, dragon punch, possibly. So you can, in actuality, just use one of the bats. get up there, just make him make the bat into a platform, and use that to get up there, but I'm gonna try doing this. I wanna see what's up there. I've never actually been up there before. And down we go, across we go, up we go. One up. Gosh, Joe, that's full health before you hit me. Oh dear, no, I'm not doing that. I don't play that game. You use the crystal shot to get across that, by the way. Now he just to screw that. Yeah, you use the crystal shot to get across that gap and get to the dragon punch, or the Suryukin, or whatever you want to call it. Basically, a big giant uppercut thingy that pretty much reams anything it. Basically, the uh, X2 equivalent of the Hadouken from X1. Only it's an uppercut and it's a lot more annoying to use, in my personal opinion. Because I prefer core roll, shoot to. back down, diagonal! Punch or whatever it is that you do. I hated this part. Damn it! These jumps are so damn pixel perfect. So damn pixel perfect, it's not even funny. Yeah, this level is going to be the one. I believe this level might be the level that breaks me, because I forgot about that last part. It's right before the boss, too, which makes it, like, that much worse. Makes me want to farm for lives. I'm not going to bore you with that. If anything, I do that off cam. And, oh god, we're running out of time. I might actually have to split this into two videos. Believe it or not, I think we are we running out of time? No, oh wait, no, no, I, I I just can't add right. I'm just not good. I'm just not so good at math. Ah, 
you son of a bitch. I don't want to save state abuse there either, though. That's the problem. And that's not the last of those freaking jumps. I hate those jumps. This is, this, as I said, this is where the game gets brutally hard and decides, okay, let's, uh, let's say stop. You're not going any further. You're, 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 you're not getting past this jump. You know what? Damn you, screen! Um... Yes, that does work. Nice. That is awesome. I did not expect it to work, and that pretty much saved my ass in terms of lives. Three lives, perfect. Because Aeolus is hard to hit with the single buster shots. You have to be like spot on. And you'll see what I mean when I say spot on. You didn't look too hard, right? Wrong. As I said, you gotta be spot on. Oh god, the missile attack. I hate the missile attack because it's absurdly powerful. Of course, it's a missile attack. Of course, it's gonna be absurdly powerful. But, um, that's regardless of the fact that it is absurdly powerful. I don't think I need to stress that enough. And by the way, falling past the screen will, in fact, kill you. Hitting the spikes will not. But falling past the screen most certainly will. So you're going to want to make sure you're on the top or the middle layer while it's scrolling because the bottom just fades out of existence. So I'm going to jump over here. Yep. Yeah, as I said, hitting him can be a bit annoying because you've got to be like, perfect. Oh, don't even think of climbing up the wall, because basically the bottom of the screen acts like spikes. If you touch them, you die. And yay, we have power again. Yeah, power keeps going on and off, on and off. Something going on with... Something going on in the neighborhood, and power's going on and off, and it's... That's why I like laptops. They run on batteries. No electricity required. Well, electricity required, but no, uh... Power plug required. Required. Overall, he's not that bad. The missile, the missiles, as you can see, do a crap load of damage. I'm probably gonna want to use an energy tank soon. Hoping to refrain from it, considering uh, Sigma is such a bitch. But yeah, the missile attack—only the big giant diamond thingy can hurt you. The rest of them are just background, which is nice, especially when they're coming from that side. Doesn't materialize until it's like on the, like full, it doesn't actually like connect until it's fully materialized on screen like that. You almost said, "Hey, we got him." That was good. That was very good for uh, first try. And we also have two full energy tanks for the next stage, which is the final stage. <sighs> Long oh, tough road it's been. But we are finally there. Well, not quite. We've still got one more video to go. We'll be there next video. Because I am out of time. I will see you guys later.